Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Economics with Mr. Jones. Today's topic is one that we all have an opinion about. It's taxes. Now, let me first say that this video will not cover every type of tax that is used in our nation. I am simply going to talk about the main ones. With that said, let's go ahead and begin. Before we go any further, let's take a little quiz. How many taxes can you name in 10 seconds? Are you ready? Go. Well, I hope you did well and that you named several types of taxes. It's okay if you didn't because that's kind of why we're here today. So the topics for this lesson. As I mentioned, we're going to talk about some of the taxes that we have in the United States. To be specific, we're going to talk about six of them. Um, they include the following. Income tax, sales tax, payroll tax, property tax, sin tax, and finally, license and occupational taxes. With all that said, we can move on to our first topic. In our first section, we're going to briefly define the word tax. This is important for us to know before we ever get into examining the different types of taxes that we're gonna look at in this lesson. A tax is a charge that's levied on the people by the government. In other words, it's a specific fee that the government collects depending upon the type of activity they are taxing. Our goal today is to figure out what the government taxes so that you aren't surprised when you go to make your next purchase. Now, with that said, we can move on to topic number two. In this section, we're gonna discuss the purpose of taxes. In other words, why we have them in our economic system. We need to know this before we talk about the types of taxes used by our government. The first reason we have taxes is to pay for government services. You see, a government has to collect money before it can actually pay it out. It cannot simply print money for itself or it would ruin the value of our currency. Some of the services our government provides includes national parks, building highways, roads, bridges, dams, and other infrastructure, paying for the military and other secret service agencies or the FBI, the CIA, and even local police forces. And who could forget schools? These are all essential pieces of our country's well-being. The government collects taxes so that these are funded. Now this is not the only reason that they put taxes on things. The government also collects taxes as a way of changing people's behavior. It might sound strange, but there are certain activities that the government tries to encourage or discourage. For example, the government tries to discourage the use of alcohol by taxing it. And they do the same with tobacco products. However, they use taxes as a way to encourage people to buy their own home. We'll get more into detail about what these exactly are and how they fit in, but for now let's move on to our last, our last reason for taxation. The last one is usually the most controversial, and that's wealth redistribution. This is moving money from one person to another, or in some cases from one time period of a person's life to another. Some examples of this include food stamps, where government provides food assistance for those who need it. It also provides health and welfare programs. In California, we have WIP, or Women and Infant Children. Another one, and perhaps the oddest of all, is the transfer of wealth from one point of your life to another, as is the case with Social Security. In all of, the instance, in all of these instances, the government collects money and redis redistributes it in some fashion. Okay, I think you guys are ready to move on to our last set of topics and the whole reason that we have this lesson, and that's the types of taxes in America. Now we're finally ready to talk about the types of taxes used in our economic system. This video should be just considered an overview of the topics. They are very complicated and sometimes take years to fully study. I will give it my best to help you understand as much as you can in this short period of time. We'll start with everyone's favorite, income tax. 
Income taxes are taxes levied on the income of a person's income or their, the money they earn. This includes income from paychecks or maybe monetary gifts. Now, one has to keep in mind that this can take two different forms. The first is one that everybody has to pay, and that's a federal income tax. This applies to every state because it's a federal statute. The second is a state income tax. This applies to only the states who have decided to have them. In case you're wondering, there are seven states without an income tax. Alaska, Florida, Nevada, South Dakota, Texas, Washington, and Wyoming. If you want to see what an income tax looks like, just look at one of our pay stubs. In case you don't have one, I've created a fake one for you here. What you have here is a person, myself, who made $1,000 for this pay period. The federal government decided to take $100 out for federal taxes. The state government here in California decided to take out $50. And it leaves me with $750. Now, you'll notice there are two other fees on here. We'll get to those later in the video. In fact, we'll use this same pay step. For now, just understand the federal and the state tax. Our next one is sales tax. Now, sales taxes are levied by the government at the point of sale. In other words, this is a tax that gets collected when you pay for something. The, the decision to have a sales tax is not up to the federal government. It's actually up to each state um, because there is no federal sales tax at this time. Keep in mind that states have taxes for in-person purchases as well as online purchases, like here in California uh, that was recently passed. It's easy to see sales tax. All you have to do is look at your receipt. In this case, I have a receipt here for the Harvard Bookstore. Um, this is not mine, but it's one that I found online. In this case, the person spent $20. The sales tax rate is 6.25%. That means they had a sales tax of $1.25. This was collected by the bookstore and would then be sent on to the federal government, or excuse me, to the state government. Our next one is payroll tax. Now, this is one of the more complicated ones because it's often confused with income tax. Now, they're both deducted from your paycheck. However, these are taxes that are taken for specific programs. What happened is that your employer will collect taxes from your paycheck and send them to Washington, D.C. That money is then spent on specific programs like Medicare and Social Security. This is different from the income tax, which goes directly to the general fund that our government can spend on anything. Now, it's easy to see these as well. We'll go back to that same pay stub. In this case, I had a salary of $1,000. My Social Security tax was 60, and my Medicare tax was 40. So this is where the other two parts come in. Now, we can move on to property tax. Property taxes are taxes that the government collects on items that you either recently purchased or that you already own. They're usually collected twice a year and they're collected by a local tax assessor. Some of the common items that you would pay property taxes on include your home, an airplane, and possibly even a boat. What I did is I made up a, a sample property tax bill for us to look at. Now on here you'll see that it tells my address, the lot location, and that kind of thing. But the thing I want to focus on is the tax value. So what they're telling me is that my home is worth $100,000 and that the tax rate for our county would be 5%. If they did the calculations, that would mean that this year I owed them $5,000. Now, like I said, they usually break this into two and it would mean that we would send two checks of $2,500. And this is just to help people not have to turn in one lump sum. Sin taxes. It might sound strange to say that the government has a sin tax, but it is exactly like it says. A sin tax is a tax levied on activities that the government thinks is unhealthy. The tax is meant to discourage the activity as well as to pay for government expenses associated with health care costs um, with these activities. Here are some of the examples. We have taxes on tobacco products. In some cities, fast food. In some states, gambling taxes. And one of the more recent, and I think kind of funny, is the indoor tanning tax. 
that they charge you whenever you use indoor tanning. Keep in mind that these differ from state to state and sometimes even city to city. Our final one is the license and occupational tax. These are taxes or fees that are placed on licenses or certificates issued by the government. Almost every American will have to pay these taxes at some point in his or her life. Some examples include a driver's license or an ID card, a real estate license or, in my case, a teaching credential, and, of course, cosmetology license. Basically, you are paying the government a tax in return for a certificate that allows you to drive or to work in a certain occupation. The rates for these usually depend on the state and they can more than likely run about $100 or less. Some of them get a little bit more. Well, that's about all the time we have for today's lesson. I hope that you now understand a little bit more about what a tax is and why they're important. You should also be able to identify some of the taxes that you'll have to pay in your life. Doing so will prevent you some surprises that you might have faced later on. I hope you enjoyed our lesson and feel free to check back as I will be posting more videos about economics and the other social studies subjects that I teach. Thank you and goodbye.